What makes a trail hero? Well, it takes a bit of charity, some military veterans, a rugged trail, and a whole lot of incredible action. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Today, all that comes into play as we take you on an adventure unlike any other at the Trail Hero event. It's a mixture of serene beauty and intense thrills. Then, we'll follow one group of veterans as they show us their appreciation for our Western trails and why they sacrifice so much for the rest of us. On the outdoors, right now with AYL. What, are you sitting in front of your TV and you've got a little of the chill of autumn? It's beautiful where we are today. Hi, welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Chad Booth. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth and we are in Hurricane, Utah at the Trail Hero event that if you've never been, you gotta get here next year. That's right, if you're into off-road, this is where tomorrow's heroes are made today because they have some really tough obstacles, competitions, races, it's expanded a lot from last year, so we're going to show you around. That's right, and it's not all about competition and, and big rigs. This is, this is also about land use. This is about charity. This is about war veterans, and this is just a fantastic event. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. It's part participant, part spectator. It's spectacular. It really is. I, th this is an amazing event. I think we need to get right to it. Trail Hero is a four-day event where we have trail rides from mild to wild, but we also have themed days that consist of special needs access where we get people with physical and mental disabilities out on the trails, any vets or active military out on the trails as well with us using motorized access. We have got rock racing, rock crawling, trail breaking, Bounty Hill, and then four days of trails that are guided throughout the whole entire area of Sand Hollow, Sand Mountain, Torquerville, Laverkin, and all things Hurricane Utah. This year we added in a couple of other events and one of them is the beach party that's happening on Friday. Uh, because we're at a state park and on BLM property right across the road, Everything happens within a quarter mile of, it, of each other. So we're bringing in a slip and slide with a water pump. We'll have the buck and bull out in the water. So if anybody wants to try to stay on that thing, go for it. In our sport, there's a level of environmentalism that's unparalleled. And it's not uh, environmentalism as in uh, exclusionism like a lot of other groups are. We want everyone to be able to access the land. That's what it's there for. It's, it's there for us to enjoy. Trail here is awesome because it brings the community together to understand how important it is for us to have trails available on public lands. Since we're on the west, not in the east coast, we have a lot of BLM out here and they like to do land swaps with private property owners. And that's what Trail Hero is trying to do is stop a land swap and raise money and awareness of what will happen, which the entire area will get shut down if they do the land swap. The protection of motorized access on public lands is important because a lot of these people, they can't go for a hike, they can't get on a, a horse. They've got to have motorized access to be able to experience the outdoors. And when you take that away from them, you're taking their legs away from them. They'll never be able to, to go for a 15 mile hike. It's also important because you're taking that land away from veterans. And these are guys that fought for this land and now they can't access it. There's tons of stuff that are going on within Trail Hero because we want to keep everybody busy and engaged and understand all things rock sports. We are having a blast here at Trail Hero, but if this isn't enough for you, they got another one planned. It's called Fury Road. Let's check it out. So Fury Road is 33 miles of dirt road, sand, and a little rock. You could do it on a stock UTV or on 33 inch tires. It's open for anybody to come do. You just need to register. And the race doesn't happen on the lap. The race happens at each of your checkpoints because we're going to make you do something at each different checkpoint. We have classes from completely stock vehicles and UTVs all the way up to buggies. And so everyone can partake. It's an easy way, an affordable way to get out there and try to start being competitive or, or have fun in a competitive atmosphere. Just go to our website and, and find out more. Yeehaw! 
Nothing like airing down the tires over here in Sand Hollow. <laughs> That's one thing you got to remember to do, right? That's true. If you're going to come out to an event like this, you do want to air down your tires. Recommended tire pressure on the dunes, if you've just got regular tires, is to get down to about 15 to 20 pounds. If you've got bead locks, which locks your tire onto the rim, you can take them down like even further, maybe 510, but you don't want to do that without them because you might lose all the air out of your tire and then you're really in a mess. Yeah, owie. When you're out here, make sure that you have a whip flag. If you don't have one, you can buy one at the state park entrance because you don't want to have somebody come over the top of a hill, not see you, and end up having a, a rig in your back seat. Which Ouch. happens. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that though. Le actually, we're going to go to our travel adventure and Steve Human is actually here with us at the event and he's going to show you something really Really cool. That's right, Rhea. There's a lot of really fun activities going on here at Trail Hero, but I want to take you outside. I'm right now, I'm at the vendor area, I'm just checking out a lot of these rigs. There's some amazing things going on. I'm going to head out into the sand dunes though. There are so many trails out here, and this area of Sand Hollow is so amazing. You could spend a week. I don't have that long, but I'm going to show you as much of it as I can, so follow me. Sand Hollow State Park is the newest state park here in the state park system. We've been here, we started here in about 2003. Sand Hollow is one of the only places here where you're going to have a reservoir next to sand dunes. And that creates an opportunity for not only boating, but also for OHV. We got Sand Mountain here, and there are all kinds of opportunities you have here at the park. I would say it's the best place on earth. You have a lake, you have sand dunes, you have hiking, you have camping. This beautiful area, I didn't expect this uh, as prosperous and, and the beauty of the red rocks and everything is just far beyond what I'd thought it might be. We have a lot of reservoirs in Kansas and a lot of good fishing and boating and so forth, but uh, the surrounding scenery here is just a lot, a lot prettier than what we have. That contrasting environment of red and blue is the hallmark of Sand Hollow, and the adventure is every bit as diverse as the color scheme. The water offers a spectrum of thrills, from the obvious wakeboarding and skiing to the less obvious scuba diving. Since trail here is all about land access and exploration though, I decided to hit the trail, and there are a lot of them. I don't think a lot of people know what Sand Mountain has to offer and all the unique different trails there. You know, you can go up a sand dunes, you can be on actual sand dunes, and in a few minutes you can be crawling in the canyon. And it's all within about a five mile stretch and so it's, it's a great place to go and lots of hidden places that people don't even know about. A series of trailheads branch off right from the road, leading to open areas and crevices of stone. Sand Hollow also has a full concessionaire offering everything you could possibly want out here. So we rent wave runners, boats, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, kayaks, paddleboards. We have a big six-man paddleboard. It's 15 feet long, five feet wide. It fits six people on it. We have pedal boats, and we also have a full restaurant inside too. So that's another thing that we offer out here. With Sand Hollow right on the border of Hurricane Utah, you also have plenty of opportunities for lodging and food, as well as a world-class golf course if you're so inclined. Play around and then hit the sand. It doesn't get much better than that, especially when you have an event like Trail Hero as your entry point. You know, the good thing about Trail Hero is, is we got a lot of people that come out and they like to respect what they're doing out here. They want to come out and play, and they want to come out and see the things, but they're also doing it with the respect that, you know, we would appreciate. You know, there's always different things to do, always different people to meet. You get two different types of people. You get the boating side, you get the OHV side, and, you know, they're wonderful people, and I like to meet them all. Obviously, Sand Hollow is an amazing place any time of year, but if you couple it with an event like Trail Hero, it just gets that much better. So you're going to want to join us next year. We'll be previewing it. You'll want to come down here because this has been an absolutely amazing event. And part of it is that they told us earlier that they were going to have a water slide on the beach, and I'm going to try it out right now for you. So for At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. We need to take a commercial break, but we'll be back in just a minute with more adventure. Here you go. Crisp, colorful, a world in transition. You don't have to travel the back roads of Maine to explore autumn in all of its glory. Beaver County offers fall in unique splendor, with drives along forgotten canyons and hikes through meadows exploding with vibrant hues of red and yellow. 
Hit the road with your family and discover a side of Beaver County you never knew you were missing. Autumn is fleeting, so don't hesitate. Beaver County, it's time to experience the real Utah. Introducing the lightweight shot starter. Only on the 2018 Ski-Doo Mountain Sleds. With next generation engine and platform. For the unmatched power and handling to own the next ride. Ski-Doo, what matters is what's next. Save up to $2,000 on select 2017 models, plus great financing. We're more connected now than ever before, but are we connected in the right ways? Maybe it's time to unplug and make some real connections at Utah Family Lodges. With beautiful facilities across Utah from Bear Lake to St. George, we're the perfect destination for your next family reunion or corporate retreat. On-site activities include swimming, hiking, mountain biking, fishing, skeet shooting, lawn games, bird hunting, kayaking, canoeing, and more, guaranteeing an adventurous retreat. With a wide variety of facilities, Utah Family Lodges accommodate group sizes from 10 to 150. It's time to connect. Find out more at utahfamilylodges.com. Hello everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Rick Peterson and I get to do a very special product review today. Can-Am's brand new, very first ever 50 inch machine and this unit just came off the truck a couple of days ago. Excited to go out and take this thing for a ride. Let's go see what it'll do. This is the first uh, 50 inch Maverick trail that uh, BRP has ever made. Sometimes when you think about first year models, you tend to be a little bit leery about those. But after riding this several times in the mountains, I can tell you, this thing is fun. You'll just find that the ride uh, and the horsepower is coupled well and the balance is incredibly well. We hit the rocks coming up really hard and I couldn't believe that it didn't shake the fillings out of my teeth. Very smooth ride and yet lots and lots of power. The suspension on this is extraordinary with the gas charge shocks, the A-arm front suspension. You've got 10 inches of ground clearance, but then you've got another 10 inches of travel in the suspension. This thing rides like a Cadillac going over rocky terrain. Now inside is where it really gets exciting. I've been riding my whole life and I've rode in a lot of machines. And what really stuck out to me about this machine is that when you're sitting inside, you feel like you're in a much bigger machine. Very comfortable seats that wrap around you, a padded steering wheel, tilt steering. The other thing you'll notice as you sit in the cockpit is a couple of really important buttons on the dashboard. One is two and four wheel drive selection. The other one is you can choose either a sport or an economy mode. The way this thing shifts as you're coming up the hill is amazing. As you access the power and the torque, as soon as you move your foot, there's no delay. But the other button on the dash that's super important is you can lock in your rear differential. And coming up the rocky ridge on my ride, I noticed that I wasn't getting the traction I needed, reached up and hit that rear differential lock, and off I went. And now that amazing suspension also carries back to the back end of the machine with, again, the TTAT rear suspension, sway bars, gas charge shocks, great suspension all the way around this thing. And that equates into a capacity to haul. 300 pound cargo capacity here. You got a two inch receiver hitch down here. This thing only weighs a little over 1,300 pounds. Towing capacity of 1,500 pounds. Like I said, this is brand new, fresh off the truck. You gotta go to Weller's Recreation in Camas and get one. Available in three different colors, lots of accessories, but nobody's gonna take care of you like they do at Weller's. That's our product review today. I'm Rick Peterson with At Your Leisure. We'll be back after this commercial with more adventure. The nine to five here is five to nine. We earn our scars. We wear our work ethic. We work until the work's done. And when it is, there's a family to raise, a neighbor to check on, a country to feed. A few hours of shut-eye to rest up for tomorrow, the day will finally get something done. It's October and all the RV ads on TV are gonna talk about low prices, big inventory, great interest rates. Well, all that's true at Ray City too, but that's not what we wanna to talk to you about. We want to talk to you about the life you will experience there when you buy an RV from Ray City.
Think of how it will change the life of your family when you're up among the beautiful bright red leaves enjoying a weekend of fall camping. Ray City RV, Utah's low price leader since 1946. It's hunting season. Families come together, friends reconnect, parents include and teach their children. Make this year's hunt great with a new utility side-by-side -side or ATV. Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, and Yamaha side-by-sides and ATVs. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Does your machine need to be tuned up? Need accessories? Stedman's Parts and Service Department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are here at the Trail Hero at the Laser Night Competition. And if you want to know what this is, it is big rigs hitting the rocks and going as fast as they can. Okay, there is one secret to doing this. The secret to success is a stuck accelerator pedal, <laughs> even if there's somebody in front of you. But really, there are a lot of details in preparation that go into the Laser Night, so we want you to learn a little bit about it. is going to be the laser nut rock race. It's pretty much an expedition of top drivers. The purse is like three grand, which is huge. Most races in Ultra 4 don't have large purses like that, so it's brought up some large names, Randy Slauson, Tony Pellegrino. It's a pretty short course. Um, I would say a quarter of a mile, uphill sand drag to a downhill rock canyon. It's, it's going to be really tight. We've got a lot of guys kind of it's going to be bumping and rubbing's racing and how they have this course set up is it's pretty much free rain you're obviously looking for that hole shot you're looking to come out of that group in the front and if you don't you're looking for the next place to pass you kind of get into a zone and you're just looking for the open line regardless of how difficult or how easy it may be you're always trying to find the the quickest fastest line through i enjoy the family of off-road when you're on the race course it's racing but off the race course it's a great family it's it's a great group of people to hang out with. Go into it wholeheartedly and, and know that it's it's not necessarily inexpensive to do, but you can do it on a budget-oriented build. That's kind of what our race car was. You can get into it by buying a Jeep. I bought a Jeep when I was 18 years old, uh, a 1971 CJ5, and I fell in love with it. I'm, I'm 41 now, and off-road has been in my blood ever since. I went from a Jeep to a, a moon buggy rock crawling. We did the trail breaker event yesterday, climbing insane rocks. I just like progressing. I like new things. I like going the next step. Okay, we're standing right here with Randy Slauson and his uh, co-pilot who just are the winners of the laser nut race, that mad race. Congratulations. Thank you. So what did it feel like? Well, it was pretty exciting. Cody got the jump on us right out of the gate and we uh, just tucked in behind him and followed him around and pushed on him real hard and made you know made sure that he knew that we were there and waited for him to make a mistake and sure enough down here uh, next to the last lap or so he got out of shape and lost his line and we were able to take take advantage of the situation and duck in and um, take the win. Beautiful. Well, excellent. Right now we're going to leave here from the uh, laser nut crazy nut competition off to another story that is yet happening here at Trail Hero and it's really the heart of this event and it's the event with the disabled veterans. Check it out. Sand on the floor of your rig. A rocky landscape to conquer. A breathtaking view at your front window. These are the communal experiences of the 4x4 community. They share a passion that transcends the divisions we encounter in everyday life. Today, this group of explorers shares that same appreciation for an afternoon on the trail but they have an even stronger bond and shared investment in their protection. You see, this group fought to keep these lands free. Say hello to our United States military veterans. Air Force, 22 years. U.S. Army. U.S. Army, 101st Airborne. 28 years, United States Air Force. U.S. Army, 84 to 87. U.S. Air Force, 87 to 98. United States Marine Corps. Served in the Army 10 years. U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force. U.S. Army National Guard. Corporal. United States Marine Corps. United States Marine Corps. Hoorah! And today we've been on a vet run. Um, Trail Hero and Rich Klein have put together a special day just for veterans um, to get them out on the trails. Um, a lot of these Jeeps are owned by veterans and we have some passengers that don't have rigs and they're just riding along and the whole idea is just to get them out in the 
into the natural environment and let them enjoy their public lands that they've, you know, spent so much of their lives defending. The reason we're here at Trail Heroes is because we got invited last year and after speaking with Rich Klein, who's a good friend of mine, we were able to talk with him and say, how can we help you get some veterans out from Utah to enjoy these public lands you're seeing behind you? And more importantly, is to get combat served and Purple Heart veterans out here on this trail so they can see the land that they defended, fought for, and came home, and now they can enjoy. It's also to let uh, them understand that we have an appreciation and heartfelt thanks for the soldiers who never came back. They call themselves Wheelers for the Wounded of California and Nevada. This is an organization dedicated to taking veterans out for a weekend of exploration and discovery. The invitation to Trail Hero has given them the chance to hit these new trails and to meet other Americans with a deep appreciation for those who served in the military. Well, it's an honor to be around these veterans, and it's an honor to be able to have them share some stories with us uh, and have them open up to other veterans. This is important to me because it brings brothers together. Me, I, I really don't leave my house much, but I can come out here and I can play with my brothers and my sisters. These, they come from all over the United States. They've come from everywhere to come here, and it's like we've known each other the whole time. I live in Las Vegas, so it's nice to get out of the city and uh, enjoy, enjoy this great country and, and uh, the great wheeling and stuff. It's also a challenge for me. I've had some issues that have arisen from my time in the military, so this is kind of like a therapy for me. Many of us see our 4x4 excursions in a similar way, but as civilians, we're hard-pressed to understand the pressures and impacts these combat veterans face. The scars they carry, both physical and mental, are often beyond our frame of reference. Everybody has a defining moment in their life. You talk to a lot of vets that have deployed, and their life is before deployment, after deployment, you know? So a lot of people, this after I had kids or after I got married, a lot of us have to get shot at for a year. It's kind of a defining moment, and it kind of changes, changes your course of your life, really. It really does. Sometimes a lot of our illnesses and a lot of our challenges are not physical and that they can't always be seen. A lot of times we know you can't fix us. We don't want to be fixed. We just want to be heard. We just want somebody to listen to us. That we're not broken. We're... We're a little damaged sometimes, excuse me. Some of us have lost friends, you know, it's changed our lives. You do things, you see things that you can't, that you don't understand, you just have to do it. Then you come home and try and fit in and it doesn't work. For these veterans to, to be able to come home and, and get a thanks and come out and do some stuff like this, it's really personal to them and all you have to do is, is say hi to a veteran once, thank him for his service, and he might just change his life. So uh, it only takes a moment of time, and um, you'll be surprised what you can accomplish. To our current service men and women who put their lives on the line daily, to our past veterans who fought to make our country so incredible, and to the heroes who lost their lives creating a safe place for our children, we here at At Your Leisure salute you and thank you for all you've done. From the Trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night In the basin with the Ute Reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. If you believe life starts where the blacktop ends, if the power of an engine makes your heart race, don't settle for anything less than Polaris Razor, the ultimate off road vehicle. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, and unmatched agility, all perfectly combined to help you chase down what matters most. Polaris Razor, we fuel your freedom.
Our Trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and you'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com website. place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. Welcome back to At Your Leisure at Trail Hero down here at Sand Hollow. Yeah, this is such a great venue because honestly, where can you go where you have these incredible rock crawling you know, adventures, and then the water, this gorgeous lake right here. You can drive your rig right up to it. People are camping. The campground is fabulous. I mean, it has everything. Sure, the drive-on beach actually has picnic tables, so you can make your way out there, watch for those little hidden things in the water. <laughs> and uh, you can stroll along the beach. The great thing is that it's the middle of October. Yeah. The middle of October, and this is still warm enough to swim. It's probably 75, 80 degrees, almost bathtub temperature. It is fabulous. If you're lamenting that you missed all the action we saw here at uh, Trail Hero in December, Trail Hero's got another event you can plan on right now. It's called Fury Road. Think Mad Max. And you can attend that and see some more of this dynamite action and participate in a lot of fun. Oh, you, you really, you got to come down here. It's gorgeous. And it's way fun. Okay, Ria, we got business to take care of. Oh, okay. Business. Oh, that's right. Our sticker winner. There you go, take a look at this. We caught an AYL sticker on this boat trailer loaded up to hit the lake. And the license number is 087307A, as in awesome. Congratulations, you win a family four pack, two fast carts, the greatest way to get your speed on indoors. It's way fun. All right, now let's take a look at next week's show. We're delving into autumn next week as we hit the road less traveled. Follow me, Stephen Human, as I discover a colorful world open to exploration and tease what you can expect here once the snow flies. From there, we'll take a look at the newest snowmobiles and why there's more than just more power in these high-performance sleds. Only outdoors next week with AYL. Well, next week's show looks terrific. And it's a perfect wrap-up to Trail Hero. The heroes have all been determined. It was a little harder this year in some of the events than last year because they did it all on points, not who got done. But it was an exciting, exciting week. You need to plan this on your calendar. It's awesome. I mean, like, you can come out here, bring your family. As there's all kinds of kids out here. I mean, there's this is just not like a testosterone thing where it's guys only. I mean, women are having a great time, obviously. I, I don't know. I <laughs> thought you had a little testosterone. But I've not often heard a girl hoop and holler like Tim Allen. <laughs> In my low voice? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really, it's it's great fun and it's just great for the veterans. Everybody can come out here and enjoy. The weather is fabulous, the scenery is beautiful, and, and just the whole machinery, all that stuff is just so fascinating to me. Mark your calendar for next year for Trail Hero. You gotta get out here. Now remember, there's adventure around every bend. It's just you gotta get out there and create your own adventure. At your leisure. And here we have the Steven in his natural habitat. Quiet. No quite skittish witches. Oh no, he's no there. Yeah, there he goes. He's on the run. Cameraman, shoot him, track him. Trail Fury, it is a No, Fury Road. 